Yo, what is going on, guys? Hope you're all doing well. So on today's episode, we've got a bit of a funny one for you here today. We are going to be kicking it off with this woman right here who got a taste of equality while she was on a date with a man. So without further ado, guys, let's just jump right into the clip. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments. I truly believe that the guy should pay for whatever meal, whatever dessert, whatever we're having on the first date. Right? Right? Yeah, right, guys. Come on. Be chivalrous, treat her like a lady, uh, pay for everything. You know the drill, guys. Step up. Yeah, yeah, we've heard it all before. So I go on this ice cream date with this guy, and from this point, going on this date with this guy, till before, I just thought it was good manners to, like, offer, like, to split the bill or, like, to offer to pay for your meal. Like, if I were out to dinner, I'd be like, oh, I don't mind splitting the bill. That's because it is good manners, right? You're, supp you're supposed to offer, Okay. And guys, the idea that these women are out here and none of them are using men for free things is totally laughable. The amount of girls that will go out here and specifically use men for foodie dates is unreal. And literally, honestly, up until this point, 100% of the time, the guy has always been, no, like, don't worry about it. I got it. Like, we're definitely not splitting the bill. I got it. After this situation, I am never offering to pay for the first date. <laughs> okay, we go to this ice cream place, whatever. And I order my ice cream. He orders his ice cream. We go to the cash register. And he's like, oh, I got it. I was like, oh, I don't mind paying for my ice cream. Do you know what he said to me? He said, okay. Uh, you... It was the first time I've ever experienced that. Or got the first time, guys. The first time that she has ever had to pay for her own things on a date was this time that she's outlining right here. Isn't that so absolutely crazy, guys? And again, these are the same women that will say that men are privileged and get everything handed to them. This woman has never had to pay for anything on her dates ever before. And if she's so indignant about it, why the hell would you even offer? Right? Why even make the offer if you don't even want to anyway? You know what I mean, guys? Or like, you don't really... Because make no mistake, guys. After this man did this, the odds of her like going and seeing him again are honestly incredibly low. You see what I'm saying? Because men are expected to do these things. Men are expected to pay, to treat her like a lady. And guys, Lord forbid, if you ask if these women are actually ladies or not, right? Do ladies go out here and go on three Tinder dates a week? I don't think so, guys. I was just like, okay. So I pay for my ice cream. But I will, I will never do that again. So we yeah, guys, because she wants to continue having the privileges of being a girl in the dating situation. And it's always amazing to me, guys, how they'll always come up with this argument of like, oh, the person who offered should be the one who paid. Really? Whenever I invite my friends out to do stuff or vice versa, I don't expect them to pay for me. I don't expect to pay for them. It's only because the, she's a woman, guys, and she wants this. You see what I'm saying? It's because you're a man, she's a woman, so you have to pay. And they, guys, chivalry is so gone. It is dead. And it is because women killed it, guys. It absolutely is. You taught me a lesson. Instead, the next time I go on a date with a guy, I'm just gonna sit there when the bill comes or whatever, and just say, thank you so much for dinner. I really appreciated that. Thank you so much for this ice cream. I really appreciate that. Yeah, because... The funny part about that is even though she's quote unquote showing gratitude, which she's really not because she expected the man to do it from the beginning anyway, that is a fantastic way to know what a woman is all about. Guys, I'm going to play that end clip, that end part right there, and we'll, we'll kind of go in this a bit more. With a guy, I'm just going to sit there when the bill comes or whatever and just say, thank you so much for dinner. I really appreciated that. Yeah, and she's not going to offer. Guys, this is a fantastic way. And I know, like, you know, we've got a lot of dudes who date, a lot of dudes who don't date. But again, I have to stipulate for the dudes who are choosing to be out there dating right now. This is a fantastic way to tell what kind of girl you are dealing with. Okay, if she doesn't even so much as reach for her wallet, guys, you've just got a fantastic indicator of the type of individual that you're dealing with. Right? Because make no mistake, guys, you want to go down the path, you want to have a relationship with this person, you want to have a marriage, you think the gratitude, right, that gratitude, quote unquote, that she showed at the end is going to continue to remain there? Oh, absolutely not. But what is going on, guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again. 
with another response video and on today's show guys before we continue with some more clips just a couple of announcements to make don't forget to come and join us over on locals all right the link as always will be in the description guys it's a fantastic way to support the channel it's totally free to go and join as well um, and there are support options if you're interested but there's one other thing that i wanted to mention today guys uh, which is that i am looking for editors so if you have any experience in editing, um, probably with Premiere Pro or something like that, I imagine would be best. Um, there will be a link to a Google Doc in the description, a Google form. Um, if you're interested in doing this and interested in becoming an editor for the channel, uh, there'll be prompts over there. So make sure that you look out for that link. But all shields aside, guys, and the character fails to load in, we will be continuing with some of these clips if I can damn well pull it up in time. So guys, don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments. And I want to open it up. Let me try and find this woman right here there's one particular woman that i wanted to kick it off with um because i thought the clip was particularly painful so let's jump right in okay so i matched with this guy through the facebook dating app we're from the same town we have a few mutual friends and we're texting back and forth for a couple weeks just getting to know each other surface stuff like what are you looking for in a relationship that type of thing yeah, guys, just just surface level stuff. You see this surface, quote unquote, surface level stuff of her saying, you know, or him saying, what are you looking for in a relationship? These are questions that you didn't ask while you were in your 20s, right? But, but as you get older, now it becomes important. And oh, yeah, you're just asking about surface level stuff. You never cared about, quote unquote, surface level stuff before this. And guys, for the love of goodness, man, do not be texting a girl for two weeks guys for two weeks like what an insane waste of time that is guys and i say waste of time because that's exactly what it is you could be doing absolutely anything else in your life than texting a girl for two weeks who by the way you practically don't even know right girls will, i'm, I'm going to come back to this point in a minute but let's continue and first off, I'm always suspicious of anyone that shows interest in me because of my past relationships. Um, they either still live at home with their parents, they're unemployed, they don't have a car, no valid driver's license, you know, you get the picture. Yeah, guys, just, uh, you know, uh, you see the reason why she says unemployed first off is because she's looking for provisioning. You know, notice how that guys is like when these girls start to get into this uh, quote unquote stage of their life, that's when they lead with things like, oh, he's got to have integrity, right? In integrity, man, that's kind of, it's laughable to me, guys, the amount of times I've read that word on the show and these girls have no idea what integrity is, right? They're looking for a dude who's integrity um, and who has integrity. And then obviously the next thing, guys, is he's got to be employed, have a car, have a license, all that kind of crap, which by the way, guys, you should have, um, you know, just for your own sake, if anything, right? But it, it's just insane how we open with that, right? So he initially wants to meet at my house. Oh, and we, we just totally gl glossed over this part. I'm sorry. Let, let's go back. Hang on. And first off, I'm always suspicious of anyone that shows interest in me because of my past relationships. Which she refuses to stipulate what exactly about them is a deterrent. Which, by the way, guys, we can assume a couple of things here. I'm probably missing something. So if you, any of you guys want to drop a comment and let me know. Um, but my mind goes straight to either A, she's dated a whole lot of bad boys in her past. Um, and that might be the reason. Or B, she's been divorced a few times. Or C, um, she has children um, to a man who's, who is no longer in the picture. Those are kind of like the top three, but I'm probably myth missing something, right? But of course, um, she doesn't stipulate about that. Um, they either still live at home with their parents, they're unemployed, they don't have a car, no valid driver's license, you know, you get the picture. You could have got a man with those, th by the way, anytime a girl complains about lack of options, right, in any sort of capacity, one, she can still secure a man who has those things, um, even as she gets older, she just probably doesn't like another attribute about him, like maybe short or something like that, where a lot of these girls, they don't want to date men who are shorter than, than, than them, for example, right, um, but that set aside, you could have got a man of quality while you're in your 20s, quote-unquote quality, right, while you're in your 20s, but you didn't want to do that anyway, Right, you could have got a guy with a job, a car, a nice apartment, whatever, while you're in your 20s, but you wait until 30 plus years of age to try and secure that, okay? And the reason why I say quote-unquote quality, guys, is because I don't think it's a good metric to judge a man's quality um, by his income levels, which a lot of these women tend to do. 
So he initially wants to meet at my house. I was like, okay, there it is. First red flag. I'm like, yeah, I uh, no. I'm like, I don't even know you, you know? I prefer that we meet in a public setting, you know? So he's like, okay, fair enough. So he continues to text me throughout the week, just cute stuff like, hey, you know, how's your day going? I'm thinking about you. I can't wait to meet you, etc." So Why on earth you would spend two plus weeks of your life as a man texting a girl that you basically, you essentially don't even know is totally beyond me, man. Right? A lot of men have the proclivity to give these girls attention, validation, um, treat them like a quote-unquote princess, and they don't even know the damn girl, man. You know what I mean? Like, they've never even met. Men, going on the first point, okay, girls will literally be like, oh, I can't meet up with you um, because I need to get to know you better. What better way to get to know somebody is there than to meet them? Right? This woman, guys, the amount of time you will waste as a man texting these girls is ridiculous because the default is for you to have your time wasted. Right? But when it happens to them, oh, all of a sudden we have a problem. So a few days before we're supposed to meet, I noticed that his messages have fizzled out almost completely. So I contact him just to touch base and be like, hey, do you still want to meet or what? You know, I haven't heard anything from you. And he's like, yeah, of course. And I was like, OK, well, let's meet tomorrow at this restaurant at seven. He's like, sounds good. I'm like, OK, cool. Yeah, guys, just, uh, you know, meet at the restaurant because the first it amazes me, guys, how men are expected to do all of this stuff. Like, you know, typically she kind of planned the restaurant here, but you know, you're expected to plan, you're expected to pick up the girl, you're expected to pay. Why on earth you would go for a, for a first date to a restaurant with a woman that you don't know is totally beyond me, man. I remember when I was younger, right? I thought that that was perfectly normal and that made sense when I was a lot more, you know, a lot more naive, right? A lot more willing to make stupid mistakes, okay? These girls, guys, will try and get you to do this so that you're putting investment up front. You're Because, guys, these girls, they don't want to be the ones paying for the restaurant, right? This is why, guys, you keep the investment low at the initial stages if you're dating at all, right? A lot of recommendations go around. Just go, go to coffee or go for a walk or some crap like that. These girls out here demanding to be pr treated like a princess and the dude doesn't even know you, man, right? Why would, why would he take you on a nice date to a restaurant Pay for your food, pay for your crap when he doesn't even know you. So I text him the day of around noon just to confirm like, hey, you know, I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous. You know, I'll see you at seven. The message pops up bright green, no delivered, no red all day. So he doesn't try to contact me anything. So I'm like, OK, like, like, did this block me like i'm so in my head about it i'm so confused and i'm like just let it go just leave it alone but i don't i send him the screenshot of the message through snapchat and i was like bro like we've never met we don't know each other we don't owe each other anything but you block me like you couldn't just tell me that you made other plans, that you met someone else, that you changed. Yeah, guys, you couldn't offer any sort of explanation. You didn't, you know, you just felt like blocking her and you just felt like not showing up. Oh my man, the level of irony that is present in these videos where these girls tell on themselves. Gentlemen, you think that this woman right here, okay, hasn't done this multiple times times throughout her life to men and i really do mean multiple i'm not thinking a low number here guys girls will ghost on men like like this all the time they'll ghost on the day of the date guys if you're watching this right now chances are girls have literally ghosted on you like five minutes or like five minutes before the date hell even they just won't even show up you see what i'm saying right but men are expected to eat it right because the thing is if you expect something from a girl then you're awful you know, you can't tell her to do with what, uh, whatever with her body, with her time and stuff like that. How dare you expect the woman to do anything? But when it happens to them, guys, then the frustration's there. And guys, I'm not saying that the actions are right at all. 
right? I, I, and the same thing with cheating, guys. I don't think cheating is cool, whichever gender you are. Personally, I couldn't give a crap, guys. I think it's a terrible thing to do to somebody, regardless of your gender. I don't care, okay? But these girls want to go out here and act as though they haven't been doing it their entire damn life, and now it's an issue when it happens to them. Okay, and again, notice how we haven't stipulated what her previous relationships were, guys, you know? Changed your mind like anything, whatever it was. And he's like, what? No, I didn't block you. But anyway, I'm done with this later. And that's the last I heard from him. So he did block me. He lied about it. Like, Guys, just it, it just sounds like basically she led him on for two weeks kind of thing. Like, I don't know, that's always my thoughts in the back of my head, where girls will be like, oh, yeah, you know, maybe maybe tomorrow or, like, my cousins are down and, and they're here now and I can't meet up for the date and whatever. And dudes just get sick of it. At a certain point, it's like, yeah, you know, not messaging you anymore. Hell, not dating anymore. Not interested in treating you like a princess. Not interested in, you, in taking you out on dates, right? A loser. I truly believe yeah and she calls him a loser at the end of it which you know it is what it is guys that's honestly quite funny to me but gentlemen we have a few more clips here momentarily which I'm going to pull up because these are in some kind of a very wacky order so let's continue on with the video for all my single ladies out there do you ever match with a guy on hinge or tinder whatever dating app you're using and you guys have really great conversation he asks for your number asks you out you make plans you pick a place and then suddenly the day of or the day before it's like he just goes ghost like does not tell you you don't have plans anymore just unmatches you yeah maybe he has uh you know maybe he has other options you know what i mean right it's again guys it's perfectly okay for girls to do this and nobody bats an eye but when men do it these girls are out here crying on tiktok right like, guys, these videos are a dime a dozen. I tell you, there are so many of these things. You guys go onto TikTok and look up, like, the hashtag ghosted or some crap like that, right? And you'll get all these single, you know, all these girls crying about, oh, this man ghosted me, right? Things are so difficult for me. Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black, guys? You know, these girls complaining about dating for them as if they don't do it en masse to men, right? You guys know what that is too, right? Because I do. And this is a public service announcement for all the girls that do it. Guys, whenever a girl says uh, public service announcement, you already know what follows is going to be some laughable uh, content. We know when you do that, that your girlfriend has either caught you on a dating app or she's going to be in town this week or she's suspicious of you for some reason. Or maybe the man wasn't interested in you. Right, maybe that's an option. Hey, you, ne you never consider that. Maybe, right, the man was not interested in going out with you. Maybe he just changed his mind. What, men aren't allowed to change their minds? Right, but no, it's straight to the, oh, he has a girlfriend or, or whatever. Maybe he just simply wasn't interested. Maybe he had better things to do. Uh, maybe he changed his mind about how he looked. Guys, these girls will change their mind about a man so damn quick. So damn quick, right? You go, they'll, they'll meet with you and they'll lose interest in you because, you know, your shoes don't look great. Or you didn't offer, or she offered to pay for the date and you accepted, right? Or you go on the date and, like, you're not as tall as your bio said. Or she didn't perceive you to be as tall as you are. Or, you know, your eyes weren't as sparkly. Or, hell, she just didn't even feel like it on the date. Whatever, you know, whatever reason is perfectly okay for girls to cancel, but it's an issue when it happens to them. So I just want you to know, and I think I speak for all the other single ladies out there, that we are looking for you on social media when you do that. We will find you, Ooh. and we will tell her. Oh, no, please, please, no, please, please, please don't do that. Right, and that, guys, that's exactly, that's exactly what I'm talking about as well, man, right, where girls will try and socially ostracize you. Right, even if they have, like, even if you don't have a girlfriend or a wife or whatever, um, they're still going to try and socially ostracize you because they don't like the rejection. Now, I ain't never been with a baby because I got too much PTSD from a baby daddy. Men love to talk about how much it sucks to be put in the friend zone, but can we talk about how it feels to be a woman and realize that you didn't have an actual friend, you just had somebody looming over you waiting for you to agree to them? 
and we are back once again with this woman and guys like i've said this multiple times in regards to this clip right here the funny part about it is that girls know perfectly well they play stupid okay but they know perfectly well when a dude who is into them they just want to you know they want to fake it so they have plausible deniability but guys there is a friend zone for women too oh yes and it is far more funny because the thing is the friend zone for the women guys is you are exclusively for fun and nothing else right you don't get the commitment you don't get the ring you don't get the fancy dates you don't get any of that and guys let me tell you something girls hate that crap right because they always guys at a certain point women will get strung along and strung along and strung along by the bad boys but during that time they're always you know they're always pushing for a bit of that commitment right they're always pushing hey you know what are we can we be a relationship now and that's what it is for girls that's what friendship uh, the friend zone is for women guys is when they are delegated to simply being there for fun and nothing else and girls men they hate it just as much but hey you know why don't we as men all just pretend collectively that that zone doesn't exist right well, oh but we have a you know we have a great connection doing what we're doing the girls won't want to hear that right but guys let's continue on to today's some of today's reddit stories as well as a bit of a joke that i have lined up for you guys so let's continue right into this reddit article now gentlemen hold in the laughter okay here we go this is from the subreddit dating over 30 and it is titled i'm confused on how to date intentionally yet without getting my hopes up too much the only reason that i want to date is to find somebody to marry Right? So we here we have clearly, guys, a woman who is over 30 years of age, and she is talking about dating now. Why? Because she needs to get married. Right? Not because of love, right? Not because she cares about another partner or she's looking for someone. Blah, blah. No, 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 no. None of that, guys. Just straight into the only reason that I want to date is to find somebody to marry. Really? Where was this attitude when you were 20? And don't tell me you had this attitude when you were 20 because you could have gotten a man when you were 20. Right? If you have this attitude when you're 20 and you couldn't find a man, well, then the only person stopping you was yourself. Let's continue. I don't care about meeting new people or making friends or whatever else BS reasons there are floating around. I just got quote unquote dumped again. And I'm just thinking about how I wasted my time getting to know someone who I'm not ending up with. Right. And look at this guys, quote unquote dumped, right? The reason why she says quote unquote dumped and not dumped here is because odds are she never actually had a relationship, man right i see so many girls out here man and they'll they'll say like oh you know i dated jack or i dated this dude or you know me and him were together you weren't together you were nothing you had no title you had you had nothing to work with and yet these girls are out here being like oh yeah he was my ex-boyfriend you didn't have a boyfriend he never took you on a date you only met at his house and that was it okay but moving on I'm just thinking about how I wasted my time getting to know somebody, blah, blah, blah. I try not to have expectations anymore or daydream of a future together, but I'm not good at multi-dating because getting to know surface level pleasantries is draining. Maybe I should try therapy, but I don't even know how that would help. Advice would be helpful because I'm in that post breakup spiral where I want to scream, cry and send him a long message about how it sucks to use people to soothe your own ego. It sucks to use people to soothe your own ego, says the 30 plus year old single lady, guys. But very interesting. Guys, I started reading this, okay? And you'll notice that in no part in the, in the you know, the first paragraph right there, um, did she say that she was a woman at all, right? But you can literally tell that this is a, a girl because of this first sentence right here. The only reason that I want to date is to find somebody to marry, right? But let's take a look at some of these comments and see what some individuals have to say. So this woman right here, who's, whose name is No Way, this, The Soul's Evolution says, I know this is cliche, and I also know that very little helps when you're in the middle of heartbreak, but the key for me is to always prioritize the relationship with myself. And this is why, guys, you, you know, you, you can't take uh, dating advice this, this, from them. This is absolutely why. Look at this. But the key for me is to always prioritize my, the relationship with myself. That's, that's wild. 
my life doesn't start or end based on having a partner. I'm in a relationship with me. Sometimes people come and sometimes people go, but I will always be okay. I think you can get your hopes up, but also understand that any outcome is possible. We are never guaranteed any length of time with anyone. Even when you're married, that could end at any time. Your relationship with yourself is the only one that you will always have. Trust the timing of your life. Build the relationship you have with you and the ups and downs of dating will become easier easier. Also being attached to a particular outcome may make you overlook some interesting life experiences. You will never know. Uh, you never know where an unexpected path will take you. You got this. Goodness me, man. Some of this is terrible. Let's take a look at this next person here whose name is, oh man, social distancing too. I'm sorry. I think we've all been there. My only advice is to try not to see it as wasted time. I think time is only really wasted if you are hanging on to someone you know there's no future with because of red flags or incompatibility. Basically, just continue to waste your time. As long as there's no definite, you can hold out for that relationship, queen. Right? And I love how we're calling it multi-dating. Right? Not like polyamory or anything like that. No, 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 no. We're multi-dating, guys. You see, because we're classy ladies. Right, we're, we're multi-dating, so obviously um, the chivalry can still be kept alive, right guys? Come on now. Let's continue. Uh, if it helps, I was single for a very long time. In 2021, I had three situationships ranging from 1.5 to 4 months. None of these people were really serious about me or wanted the same things and it hurt when they ended. But I just kept going because what else can you do? Yeah, guys, because, you know, where else would you get relationship from than someone who was in, how many is this? Uh, three situationships and who was single for a very long time, right? Then I met someone recently who was clear from the start that he wanted a serious relationship leading to marriage. What an idiot. And it's been amazing to get to know somebody that with the, with the goal out in the open for both of us, obviously we are still getting to know each other, but it's made me realize that there are actually people out there who want the same things as I do. And there's nothing really wrong with my approach. I just wasn't meeting the right people. So my advice is to take a few weeks to regroup be really kind and gracious towards yourself and then get back out there. Man, what on earth did I just read? Continuing on, gentlemen, we're going to be kicking it off uh, with a joke right here. So hopefully I still have this pulled up. Now, this is a funny one, okay? Some of you may have heard this joke before, um, but this is the husband store. So I'm just going to read this to you guys. It goes, a store that sells new husbands has just opened in New York City, where a woman may go to choose a husband. Among the instructions at the entrance is a description of how the store operates. You may visit the store only once. There are six floors and the attribute of the men increase as the shopper ascends the flights. There is, however, a catch. You may choose any man from any particular floor, or you may choose to go up a floor, but you cannot go back down except to exit the building. So a woman goes to the husband's store to find a husband. On each floor, the sign on the doors read, Floor number one, men have jobs. These men have jobs, excuse me. Floor number two, these men have jobs and love kids. Floor number three, these men have jobs, love kids, and are extremely good looking. Wow, she thinks, but feels compelled to keep going. She goes to the fourth floor and the sign reads, Floor number four, these men have jobs, love kids, are drop dead good looking, and help with the housework. Oh mercy me, she exclaims. I can hardly stand it. Still, she goes to the fifth floor and the sign reads, these men have jobs, love kids, are drop-dead gorgeous, help with the housework, and have a strong romantic streak. She is so tempted to stay, but she goes to the sixth floor, and the sign reads, Floor number six, you are visitor. Number three, two, six, one, four, nine, six, zero, one, two, to this floor. There are no men on this floor. This floor exists solely as proof that women are impossible to please. Thank you for shopping at the husband's store. And guys, that is a fantastic example, by the way, of a bit of hypergamy as well. Because girls will be out here, guys. They'll be married to one particular dude. They'll be in a relationship with one particular dude. But you know what? That guy who hits her up out of the blue, who was a friend from, uh, you know, college or whatever, who, hey, maybe he's got that... Uh, He's got that C8 Corvette going. He's looking nice. He's got his rich, you know, nice wristwatch, um, jacked, 
all right maybe he's a little bit better um than the husband who is currently working many hours a day to provide for her and off she goes right but let's continue the joke the wife's store floor number one the floor has wives that love bedroom fun floor number two has wives that love bedroom fun and have money the third through six floors have never been visited guys and the joke there really is that guys men are not hard to please okay they really aren't girls will be out here acting as though relationships are so damn difficult right i have to do this for men i have to do that everything is so hard guys i cannot tell you the amount of relationships i've seen where the girl like swears up and down that she's doing everything to hold the relationship together right and you look at it and it's like you're doing nothing you're, you're doing absolutely nothing right you can say like oh yeah look i'm, I'm cooking here. like i'm a stay-at-home wife right we've all seen those guys where the story's like oh yeah i'm a stay-at-home wife i have it so difficult i've got to cook and clean and guys i've literally spoken to dudes over on patreon who have told me right on voice call they've told me before um you know after we got divorced and everything i realized she wasn't doing anything i could come home from work do those things and it was a lot damn easier there really wasn't anything that she had to do right but again guys just the, the the complaining let's jump into a final couple of reddit stories before we wrap up today's episode guys and as we go through these if you've made it this far guys again don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments to some of the things that we have covered today so we have a story here that is titled my girlfriend has cheated on me twice i cannot get out my mind has been going on 200 kilometers an hour trying to figure out how to get over that she cheated on me with twice yesterday with her ex she said she wants a few days to herself and that she's going to eat uh, with her friend i know that she wasn't and i went to her location and saw her sitting in her car with an ex she keeps t calling me and trying to make the situation better like last time and she won't stop because she knows i love her it pains me and i cannot think straight i walk all day angry and d-worded and i keep thinking about her and what she has done when i try to sleep because of that i cannot sleep I blocked her, but I keep checking the call history to see if she called me because that makes me feel better, but I know that I just want to get over her. I'm not the most charming person and I'm not amazingly looking, so it's hard for me to find another relationship quickly. I feel helpless and desperate. Guys, this is the thing. You have to walk away from these situations. A lot of girls know that they can continue to get away with behavior because you refuse to leave for lack of better options, typically. So they're just going to keep doing it. A lot of men will be like, oh, I can't find another girl like her. If I have to go back to dating, it'll be so hard. So what, guys? Right? Take some time to yourself. Stop dating, maybe. Okay? The idea that you're supposed to go out here or you're supposed to put up with bad behavior, right? Or else you have to go and look for another girl. It's just like, get rid of your girl, man. Just, just get rid of your girl. Focus on yourself. Do better things because I guarantee you this man right here would be a hell of a lot happier if he cut this woman out of his life. But guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there. As always, make sure to drop your thoughts and your comments on the way out. And just a quick rehash share as well, guys. I am looking for some editors. So if you think that this could be you, guys, there is going to be a link in the video description to a Google document, a Google form. Um, just follow the prompts there if you are interested. But as always, gentlemen, make sure you take care of yourselves. And as my character uh, fails to load in, guys, I'll be seeing you boys in the next one. Peace. Yo, what is going on guys? Past Taylor here. Just want to say thank you if you made it to the end of today's video. With that being said, make sure you go and show some love to the editor of today's video, guys. You can find free Apple Watch wallpapers over on his website, www.applewatchfaces.io. Make sure you head over there, guys, and bookmark the tab to show some support for your boy. He's gone through the blood, sweat, and tears of putting together today's video, guys. So make sure to go and show him some support for what he has endured today. Take it easy, guys, and uh, peace for real this time.